Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing my first Halloween set for the year. For this one, I decided to do something bloody and I seen a few different people doing the screen mask so i decided i wanted to attempt to do that so i'm just starting off with my base which i'm using the nails uh the 3xl square nails from aliexpress and the pinky and the pointer i just cut and filed them to be more of a stiletto shape um and then i'm just going in with the born pretty gel polish i believe this is the shade number one from their new jelly kit um so yeah i'll leave that link in the description box but i'm just going to go in with two coats of this color on each nail for my featured comment from my previous upload, I wanted to say thank you so much to Maine for your comment. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, those glitters that I used in the previous video, they weren't gels. They were just loose glitters from a cart from their Ocean Couture nail kit. I'm going to be doing my screen mask on the middle finger so I'm just going in with some white gel polish as a base for that design. I'm just doing it about halfway down the nail just rounding out the top a little bit and I'm going to do two coats of white gel polish curing in between both coats. So now I'm laying out my color that I'm going to be using as the blood for this design. So this is the Born Pretty Jelly color in the shade 6. It's from that same nude jelly kit. And I'm just laying out a little bit of it and I'm going to use a small brush to go in and do my blood drip and splatter. For the ring finger, I'm going to be doing a French tip design. I'm just going in and outlining that smile line and then I'm just going to have blood dripping from the French tip. So I'm just going in and getting a good bit of the gel polish on the brush just because I want to make these lines as thick as possible and make the drips look as thick as possible. So I'm going in with a little bit more than I typically would. But yeah, I'm just going to scoop up a good bit and just kind of start with the dot at the bottom of the... Um, drip and just kind of work it back up to the smile line and I decided to just do three in varying lengths. For the pointer finger, I'm going to be doing blood splatter, so I'm just putting a few dots in random places and then just going in and kind of moving them around and I'm going to go back in and kind of thicken up the splatter a little bit more too because I want it to look thick just like the ring finger, um, the blood drip on the ring finger. So now I'm going back to the middle finger which is my screen mask and I'm just going in and using this black gel liner to kind of do the outline of it because you know typically in the movie he has on the mask and then he has like a little black hood on so I'm just putting that around it and then also outlining the shape of the face with the long end piece so that I can have like the mouth open like the screen mask so yeah I'm just going in and outlining that and then to draw on the face I'm going to use a dotting tool you'll see me go in and do it once and then I ended up wiping off the eyes and the nose just because I didn't like the way that it looked um and I went back and did it over again but this is a pretty easy design to do and I would definitely say it's cute for Halloween
Once I was finished with the face, I went ahead and cured it in the lamp and then I decided to go back in and add some blood to the mask. So I'm just putting some next to the eye and then on the opposite side around the mouth. Then I went ahead and cured that in the lamp. I'm not going to go on to my pinky finger. For that one, I decided to do a knife design. I thought this would be super cute. So that's why I decided to make that nail pointy. So I just went in and did two coats of the silver gel polish and then I'm going to go in and draw on the handle using the same black gel liner from Madame Glam. Once I'm done with that, I went in and added a few accents to the nail, um, just adding some red at the tip of the blade so that it looks like there's blood on it. And then also for the handle, I just added two little silver dots so it looks more like a real knife. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do on the thumb, but in the end I decided to just do the same design that I did on the ring finger. So I'm going in and doing the blood drip French tip. Once I'm done, I just went ahead and cured those nails in the lamp and I went in with some top coat. I only applied these for the set, but when making press on nails, if you want them to last for a few weeks, you would just want to go in and prep your nails by lightly filing the shine off of them and going in with some dehydrator or alcohol to just kind of dry out the nail. And I prefer to use McCart nail glue to it adhere it and typically it lasts for about two weeks for me but yeah that's pretty much it for this design let me know what y'all think of it if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you're not already subscribed be sure to subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye